Hey there, it's CB. Today we're looking at Instagram as a possible way to present your comics. This is Validation, which is a webcomic I've been producing with my friend Kelsey since uh, 2013. We have over 500 comics done that are posted online. What I'm doing with it here is, is representing it for the Instagram format. Now one of the things about this is if you do have a webcomic and you're doing it in a three panel format, you can isolate each panel separately and then load them up using the Instagram multiple feature. And as you can see, as you scroll across, it looks really cool. You gotta be careful about what resolution you save your file in because if it's too pixelated, it will show up pixelated on Instagram. So you can see that this is a today's post. So if you wanna start from the beginning of the story, you scroll all the way down here Here's the, there. First year of validation right here brings back a lot of memories. So, oh, it looks really rad, doesn't it? I added some, I used a program called Canva for this and put the image in there and then made the background kind of make it pop a little bit. That's one way you can do it. So looking up through here, kind of cool. And then you go back, bam and getting some followers is pretty cool. You can only do one link out from your Instagram page. See here, you're not really allowed to do links, I guess unless you're like some influencer or something. Somebody has like over 10,000 followers, I think they unlock it for you then. You gotta be careful about the algorithms too. If you post too much, they'll shadow ban you, which is really wild, they will. It's happened to me before on my photo, um, Instagram, which I'll just show you that really quick. I I have an Instagram account here um, that you can follow if you'd like. I'll be posting new photos soon. Uh, just a quick scroll through some of my photography, but that's what we're not here to talk about. We're here to talk about comics. Let's go back to validation and look at that really quick. So yeah, when you uh, post on here, you want to put some tags. Here I put Roxy, Cosplay, Comics, Web Comics. Got a few others here for the transgender community since Allie and Roxy are trans characters. So if you go on that, um, you go on the, the comics hashtag, you can tell if you're shadow banned or not. If you're shadow banned, this probably won't show up here, the top and recent. And after you post, you can check and, and see if you're if you see your comic here, if you don't see your comic here immediately in the recent section, there's a possibility that they shadow banned you and sometimes they won't even tell you. If you are shadow banned, you have to wait like 14 days or something. I would do some Google searching on that, but that's that's the research that I did when they slowed me down last year. And it really, it, it's the algorithm on Instagram is so bonkers that you know, it's strange that they want you to post, but they want you to post within what they feel is like their parameters. So do a little research on that. Yes, it is weird, but it is a good way to reach potential readers and also give your current readers something, you know, a new way to look at your comic. We're gonna go to another one I just started for the Webcomic Factory. The Webcomic Factory is a site that I work on with Tony DiGirolamo. This is our 10 year anniversary. We've been doing web comics on the web comic factory every single day for 10 years, if you can believe it. So to launch the web comic factory Instagram, we're gonna do post-apocalyptic Nick first, which is a graphic novel that we serialize as a, as a web comic first that eventually became a print edition. I know that's a whole roundabout way, but this one did become popular enough to go into print we had a successful Kickstarter run, got the books out, got the t-shirts out. And if you go to the webcomicfactory.com and click on the little post-apocalyptic Nick tab, there is a place where you can buy the print copy. But anyway, so you can see that, you scroll up, there's Nick. Keep scrolling. And as you can see, I actually posted this before, but it wasn't the correct like DPI. So I made sure to up the DPI so it looks good. And it's gonna be on laptop screens too, so keep that in mind. People do look at Instagram on their laptops, they look at it on their iPads, so make sure your resolution 
He was up to, up to the grade, you know. I think I went bonkers and saved this at 300 DPI. You definitely want to have it above 150. So speaking of specs, uh, this is the, you can, you can post landscape images, but the square image is what everybody typically does. There's uh, some specs there for you. And you can use a program like Photoshop or, you know, as I mentioned, I use Canva. I like Canva quite a bit. I pay the $12.95 a month for it. Really cool to be able to like load your image up in there, resize it. You can do like cool stuff with the background and all that. So that's definitely something to look into. If you have a regular size comic, not a web comic, it might be a little bit more difficult to reformat for Instagram. And here's my friend, Doug Leffler. He's got a really cool Instagram you should check out. Doug does the storyboards for a lot of the Marvel movies. He's worked on so many things. He directed a movie called The Last Legion. He has a site that he works on called Story Attic. And we'll check out Story Attic here. Now these are isolated images from their comics, so just pick up one here, go through it. Now they're just isolating images mainly for promo purposes, but definitely kind of rad here. So yeah, there you have it. Uh, that's uh, a way to do comics on Instagram, something to take a look at.